Hello buddy and welcome to this video where we're now going to take a look at masking, hiding and deleting geometry within ZBrush. Okay, so let's go ahead and just give our model a few subdivisions here. And we have um, we have our model here. Now imagine if we have been working on this for a while and we have just finished an area and um, we don't want to affect um, that particular area. So just imagine if we've been working on the lips here and we um we have completed the lips but we want to edit the surrounding area without touching where the uh, lips have been um sculpted what we can do is we can go ahead and we can mask that off and the way we do that is we hold the left control and when we do that you can see that the brush has now turned yellow and we can go ahead and we can paint this mask in okay so now once we let go of the left control we can go ahead and continue to sculpt on the outside here but what you will notice is that as we are moving over the uh, mast area it's not being affected so let's go ahead and undo that okay now we can if we like also invert this mask so we can hold the left control and just left click anywhere within an empty area and that will invert the mask and the same rules apply so we can now only um we can now only add uh, information to the area that has um, that has not been masked so let's go ahead and invert that again now if we wanted to clear the mask what we can do is we can hold the left control and simply left click and drag a marquee selection in this empty area and that's really just the simplest and quickest way to remove the uh, masking information okay so next thing we can do is if we go ahead and just increase the um, mask or just create a mask here you can see that the mask is pretty sharp along these edges so there may be um there may be points in our masking where we want to smoothen this off and the way we do that is we hold the left control and then simply just click in the mask area and you can see that we get a much smoother transition here so just keep clicking and you're going to get a much smoother transition in your masking okay so that's the basics of masking and um, how that is used. So the next thing we want to talk about is how we can hide, unhide and delete geometry. And the way this is done is through masking itself. So in ZBrush, for instance, there is no um, single button that's going to allow us to select polygons and delete it. OK, so let's first of all start by looking at how we can um, deal with hiding and un unhiding geometry. So let's go ahead and let's just paint our mask. So let's just go ahead and paint a mask all the way around the neck here okay so i think that's gonna be fine let's just smooth this off a little so imagine we have this and we want to go ahead and we want to hide this the way we do that is we scroll all the way down here and we look at this section where it says masking and we have a visibility so first of all let's just look at masking and in masking you see we can inverse this if we'd like we can clear the uh, mask for instance okay and we can go to show selection so we can turn this on and off whether or not this is being shown as masked but directly below that we see we have this visibility and here we can see we have this hide and show so we can hide the areas that was not masked and we can go ahead and show that back again okay so let's go ahead and paint our mask back in here let's move this off so let's go ahead and invert this and now we can go and choose the uh, hide unmasked and that's going to hide the area below so now we have hidden the um, unmasked area and we can continue to model on this or sculpt on this so let's go ahead and unhide now imagine if we have just masked this off and we want to delete this we actually want to delete this part of the um, the sculpt what we need to do is first of all we need to mask it off then we need to go all the way back up to geometry okay we need to go back under the geometry tab we need to go ahead and change or bring this all the way back down to the bottom subdivision we need to scroll all the way down and you can see that under the geometry we have a sub tab that says modify topology and under here we have this option that says um delete hidden now that's not going to work until we actually change the visibility of our mask here. so let's go ahead and choose hide and let's um let's invert that let's hide this 
And let's go back over to, oops, looks like we've just closed that. Let's go back over to the geometry. And now we can go ahead and choose delete hidden. That's actually deleted those polygons now. And so what you'll notice is that if we go back, if we go back to visibility and we choose the show, you can see that nothing's showing, nothing will hide, nothing will show. And that's because we've actually deleted the polygons. And that's the only way that we can do that in, um, in a ZBrush. So that's the very basics of masking. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.